Okay, so we'll kind of go back to basics here and get you through this. This is the equation that we're given. And that equation is written in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. The number in front of the x, or the coefficient of x, in this case the letter m, is the slope of that line. And the point 0 comma b is the y-intercept of the line. So for your equation, the slope is 3 fourths, and you think of slope as rise over run. We're going to talk about that in a second. And the y-intercept is at 0, 1. So if you wanted to draw a quick sketch of this line, you'd start at the y-intercept, rise over run, you'd take a run of 4 and a rise of 3 and then draw the line through those two points. That's what the line looks like. Now, as long as the slope remains 3 fourths, if you have a different y-intercept, the lines will be parallel. Because parallel lines have the same slope. If I go to Desmos, show you that's what's happening. Here's y equals mx plus b. That's this red line right here. And if I change the value of b, the y-intercept, see how that line moves? But the slope remains constant. So I'm going to leave that at 0, 1 for right now. Whoop, 0, 1. I'm going to plot the point 3, 4, which is right here, and label it. And we want to find the equation of the line that passes through that point and is perpendicular to that red line. <coughs> now here's what you need to know. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. So for a line that's perpendicular to a line with a slope of 3 fourths, the slope of the perpendicular will be the negative or opposite reciprocal, negative 4 thirds. Any line with a slope of negative four-thirds will be perpendicular to these blue lines. Of course, there's infinitely many equations like that, but we want the one that passes through 3, 4. And to do that, we're going to use point slope, which is a formula that looks like this. Where x sub 1, y sub 1 stand for the point that the line passes through, and m is the slope. Well, in our case, for the perpendicular slope, the perpendicular is negative 4 thirds. y sub 1 is 4. Slope is negative 4 thirds. And the x sub 1, or the x coordinate of the point that the line has to pass through, is that. So there's your equation. Now you could simplify that or change it into slope intercept form. Let's go back to Desmos. <coughs> Excuse me and see what's happening. Here is the negative reciprocal, negative 1 over m. And I've set x of 1, y sub 1 to 3, 4. If I change those coordinates, of course the line doesn't pass through, but it still has the property that it's perpendicular to the red line because its slope is the negative reciprocal. So if I change this back to uh, 3, and the y sub 1 to 4, it will pass through the given point. Okay, and I can actually display some different equations here. There is, well, this negative 1 over the slope of the red line would be, that's the negative 4 thirds. Here's another equation where I've written it in point slope with the minus 4 moved to the right side. Okay, there you go. Hope that gives you some idea of what's happening. Uh, again, if I move this point, they're still perpendicular because the slopes are negative reciprocals. That's the key to remember for 
uh, perpendicular lines. Okay, there you go. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.